What is the goal of Ramadan? So you may attain taqwa. And what is taqwa? Allah conscious. And what does Allah conscious mean? Allah conscious mean I'm going to do everything he's pleased with and I am going to be staying away from everything he doesn't want. Or shahru Ramadan, if I do it the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want me, as much as I can, focused on him, focused on what I am doing and not only holding food and drink and marital relationship in that time frame, or rather holding every sin, making Allah is my focus, doing every extra I can, then the end is taqwa. It will burn my sins. But this is why it's extremely important for us from now to change the way we look at Ramadan. We all celebrated. We all are very happy. But what I need to do is from now put goals for myself when I leave Ramadan that I achieved those goals and I'm going to take them with me. And one of the goals of Ramadan is actually it will burn my sins, meaning my fasting, the proper fasting, my relationship with Allah, my salah, my qiyam, my uh, night salah, my charity, my conduct, all of these going to be multiplied. I'm not going to do the casual, neither quality nor quantity. I'm not just going to do two rakat after Isha. I'm going to do my taraweeh and I'm going to do longer and my relationship with the Quran. I am building and building. So how is my sins will be burned? In al-hasanati yudhibna al-sayi'a. Good deeds remove bad deeds. So here I am. Gradually I'm building more good deeds. I'm building better relationship with Allah. I'm building better relationship with the Quran. I'm building better relationship even with the people around me. These are all good deeds. Let alone salah and, and of course the fasting and the qiyamul layl. These are all good deeds. Good deeds remove bad deeds. 